In this video, I'll show you how to fix this issue right here, which is pretty annoying, where your iPad is stuck on the iPad and available screen right here. This problem is very annoying and very common on iPad users when you try to actually unlock your iPad and you miss the passcode for several times. It might be the case that you have forgotten your iPad passcode as well. Do not worry, this tutorial is gonna help you fixing this issue right here. And as you guys can see, it says in here, iPad and available, try again in 15 minutes. It might be the case where you've got in here more minutes such as 20, half an hour or even hours okay this time here keeps on actually extending depending on how many times you actually miss the passcode but do not worry I'll help you fixing this issue in here in today's video but I have bad news for you the thing is unfortunately you'll be losing all your data that you have here on your iPad device. We'll need to restore your iPad and turn it into a brand new iPad. You'll be able to use it but you're gonna lose all your information. Unless you had a backup done, you can actually restore your backup from iCloud or from a laptop device if you had a backup done. If you didn't have any backup done, unfortunately, you're gonna lose all your data. Hey, my name is Shaq and in this channel, I help you fixing tech-related issues. So if you're into tech content, consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. So first things first, in order to fix this issue right here, you're gonna need a USB cable which can be like this one a lightning to USB cable or it can be something like this which is actually a lightning to type C USB cable and at last you'll need a laptop device or a computer okay now the entrance or the type of cable you're gonna need depends on your USB port on your laptop Okay, if you've got a laptop with this entrance, you're going to use this cable. If you've got a laptop with this entrance, you're going to use this cable. In my case, I'll be using this cable right here because this is the one supported by my laptop. And hey, do not worry if you've got a MacBook device or a Windows PC. Do not worry because this tutorial works on all laptop models. So here we are on my computer. In my case, I've got a MacBook Air here on my left and my iPad on my right. But if you've got a different MacBook model such as a MacBook Pro or a Windows PC, do not worry, this is going to work for you. Now, please note that if you've got a Windows PC or if you've got a MacBook running a software equivalent to macOS Mojave or any software that came before macOS Mojave, you're going to need to download iTunes in order for this to work, okay? Now, if you've got a MacBook device running a much recent software, which is any software that came after macOS Mojave, you won't need iTunes because iTunes has been discontinued and you'll be following the exact same procedure that I'll be performing here on my MacBook in here. Do not worry, I'll show you how to perform both of the steps on the iTunes as well as here on a much newer MacBook software. And do not worry because I've left the link to download iTunes in the description box below. So in case you've got a laptop device or an old MacBook software, please tap in the link in the description box below in order to download iTunes and install it in your computer. Now let's move straight into our laptop. Now here I am on my MacBook, as I've said, I've got in here a MacBook Air, and as you guys can see in here, by tapping here on About This Mac, I've got in here my macOS software, which is macOS Big Sur. So over here you can see your macOS operating system, so if you've got macOS Mojave or anything that has came before macOS Mojave, you'll need to download iTunes by tapping in the link in the description box below. So once you install iTunes, in my case, I won't install iTunes because I have a much newer software. Next up, we'll hop here into our internet browser and then we're gonna go straight into this website which is ipsw.me. Do not worry because the link to this website is actually in the description box below. So all you need to do is just tap in the link in the description box below. Next up, we're gonna scroll down in here and select our Apple device. So in our case, we've got in here an iPad model. Next up, we're gonna select the exact model of our iPad device, okay? So in case you have any doubt, double check your iPad's box in order to find out which model you actually have. In my case, I've got in here an iPad mini Wi-Fi 
here we go this is my ipad device i'm gonna tap once on my ipad model next up what we'll be doing here is actually downloading the latest version of our operating system as you guys can see we've got a bunch of operating systems in here and their respective release date and as you guys can see the latest one will be having a green tick over here and this one is the one you need to tap on next up we're gonna tap here on download by scrolling down in order to download the operating system let me tap here on download and then my download should initiate shortly as you guys can see my download has started and here we go it asks me for two hours in order to complete the download now this is going to depend on your internet speed if you've got a much slower network it's going to take you a lot of time if you have a much faster network it can take all the way up to one or two minutes okay so now let's wait until the download gets completed so once the download is complete we're gonna move here into our iPad where we actually need to turn off our iPad. So in order to turn off your iPad, if you've got in here an iPad like mine, which is an iPad with a physical home button in here, all you need to do is press and hold the power button for a couple seconds and then you just need to slide to power it off, okay? Let me slide it to power it off. Now, if you have a much recent iPad without a physical home button, all you need to do is press and hold the power button along with the volume down button. Okay, so you're going to press and hold both of the buttons until you see this light to power off on your screen. So once your iPad is turned off, we need to connect it into our computer, but we need to first put it in DFU mode. Okay, so DFU mode is the mode that allows us to connect and securely install a fresh new operating system that we just downloaded here in our computer. Now, in order to do this, the very first thing we're gonna be doing in here is actually connecting our USB cable at the laptop's port first, okay? So first things first, connect it into your laptop. Once it's connected into your laptop, you need to connect the other end into your iPad while performing a small trick in here. If you have an older iPad like mine having the home button in here, the physical home button, you're gonna connect and immediately you're gonna press and hold the home button along with the power button like this. Press and hold both of them for a couple of seconds until you see the DFU screen in here. Now, in case you have a much recent iPad device without a physical home button, you're gonna connect and immediately after connecting, you're gonna tap on volume up and then rapidly tap on volume down and then press and hold the power button for a couple seconds until you see the DFU screen in here. And this is how it goes. Connect, up, down, and press and hold the power button for a couple seconds. So in my case, since I've gotten here an older iPad, I'll perform the first step. And do not forget, the other end of the USB cable needs to be connected into your laptop device. So here we go. Here's my entrance. One, two, three. Connected, pressing and holding both of the buttons on top and the home button. Let's wait for a couple seconds. Let's keep on waiting. second apple logo and here we go once we see this screen we're going to release the buttons and here we are at the dfu screen once this is done we're going to gently keep our ipad aside okay and make sure you do not mess around with the usb cable do not touch it because this might create a few connectivity issues while the update process is running and this might corrupt your iPad software again and again, okay? So make sure you do not touch the cable. Now let's move straight into our laptop device. So here we are on our laptop device and if you've got a Windows PC or an older macOS software, you're gonna open up iTunes right now. I believe you've already installed it and then simply open it. Now, if you've got a much recent macOS software like mine, we're gonna hop into Finder right here by tapping here on Finder. Next up, we're gonna go straight into iPad right here by tapping here, and this screen should be the exact same screen that you're actually looking at 
on iTunes if you've got a Windows PC or an older operating system software. Next up, we need to tap here on Restore iPad, but before tapping on Restore iPad, we need to press and hold the Option key right here, and while holding the key, we're gonna click here on Restore iPad, and then we're gonna release the key. This window right here should pop up. Now, if you've got a Windows PC, instead of holding the Option key, you're gonna hold the Shift key on the left side of your keyboard. So once this window opens up, we're gonna scroll down and find out where our operating system is located. The operating system that we just downloaded. In my case, it's here, iPad mini 935 13 G36 IPSW. So I'm gonna select it and tap on open. Now, in order to find the operating system, it's normally located in the downloads folder because you've just downloaded it from the internet. Next up, it's going to ask you for confirmation that your Mac will erase and restore your iPad to iOS, blah, 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 and will verify the restore with Apple. Simply tap here on restore in order to confirm and then the installation process is going to start immediately. As you guys can see, there's a bar right here and all we need to do is sit back, wait and relax until the operating system installation is completed, okay? Now let's wait for a couple minutes while our laptop does its thing. Now while the process takes place, you'll be able to see a progress bar here running on your iPad device and all you need to do is just sit back, relax until this progress bar gets completed. So here we go, the installation process is complete and as you guys can see in here, my screen says that the iPad has been restored to factory settings and is now restarting. Please leave your iPad connected, it will appear in the sidebar after it restarts. So all we need to do is wait for a couple more seconds and do not disconnect the USB cable. Let's just click here on OK and wait for a couple more seconds. As you guys can see, there's a second progress bar in here going on. Let's wait until this gets completed as well. So once this is completed, you'll be able to see your iPad restarting and you'll be here on the screen which displays hello in different languages. So right now we can disconnect the USB cable from our iPad device and let's quickly set up our iPad device. So let's slide to the left and then over here we need to select our language, okay? Let's select English right here. Next up, our country. Let me quickly select United States right here. Here we go. And then next up, it's gonna ask me to connect into a Wi-Fi network in order to activate my iPad. Let me quickly connect into my Wi-Fi network. Here we go, we're now connected and it's now activating my iPad. So let's wait for a couple more seconds right here. Next up, it's gonna ask me whether I wanna activate location services. In my case, I'll disable location services, okay. Next up, it's gonna ask me to create a passcode. Let me tap 0000. zero, zero, zero. It's gonna ask me whether I wanna use this easy code. Yes, use code. Just to show it to you guys here on this tutorial because I wanna make this video as short as possible. Next up, it's gonna ask me whether I wanna restore my backup. So in case you've got a backup done, as I've said at the beginning of this video, you're gonna tap here and restore from your iCloud backup or you can also restore from your laptop. In my case, since I don't have a backup done, I'll tap here on setup as a new iPad and then you just need to log in with your Apple ID credentials. In my case, I'll tap here on don't have Apple ID and then set up later in settings. Don't use Apple ID because I'll set it up later in settings. We need to agree with Apple terms and conditions by tapping here on agree. And then I don't want to turn on CD right now. Don't send diagnostics. And here we go. Welcome to iPad. Get started. And here we go. We've successfully solved the issue of having your iPad stuck on the iPad unavailable screen and now you can actually use your iPad freely, okay? Thank you so much for making it till the end of the video and if this video really helped you fixing the problem that you've got, please leave a comment down below, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching Fixed by Shaq and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.